What's up guys, Jason here back again for another YouTube video. I'm here in Chiang Mai today in the Niman district. I'm here at uh, Seven Senses Gelato. This is a great little shop here with the most amazing gelato you'll ever t try in your entire life. I'm here with Stefano, the manager. Ciao, Stefano. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs> Very well. Thank you for coming actually. Thank you for joining us. Oh, thank it you. It was for a pleasure to meet you. I mean, you have heritage from Italy. <laughs> yes, your, yes. Your parents and, and, yep. and, and so you know about good food. Absolutely, yes. And I guess we, we can demonstrate. That. <laughs> yeah, you can see uh, the, the demonstration here, man. We, we, we know Italian food. And uh, I just saw you got your homemade tiramisu here, which yes. I immediately noticed straight away. 89 baht. It's actually a really good good price as well. Thank you. A lot of these places will charge, you know, tiramisu like 200 baht up. So this is actually homemade tiramisu. And for me, I'm a massive tir tiramisu expert. I don't like to to claim but I like to try lots of tiramisu and uh, this one is actually really good. So. We made it with the real mascarpone, yep. uh, eggs, egg yep. yolk. We pasteurize actually everything yeah. in order to be safe from salmonella, you know, it's very serious. Of course, yeah. And many of the shops they don't do this one. That's right. Uh, they just use raw eggs which is absolutely dangerous. Yep. I mean not as dangerous as 80 years ago but sure, definitely sure. Yep. I mean yep. with the SARS and the COVID uh, yes. uh, let's let's forget about the it. The requirements are now yes. more strict about that. But yeah. definitely we pasteurize the egg yolk and then we make our base of the mascarpone cream and then we use a, a whipping cream. We don't use a, with the snow egg because it's too water. Right. Savoyardi, yeah. nice Italian yeah. coffee and yes. that's your, there you go, you have a... a you nice can't go dish. wrong. Yeah, and it's not too strong as well. Like Absolutely. a lot of them will put too much coffee or too much alcohol a little bit. Um, so this one was perfectly balanced. So, and also, guys, this is a gelato shop, of course. So their known specialty is gelato. Um, I will show you on the screen what I had earlier. I had uh, some uh, uh, what do you call little little pony, isn't it? The, it the is blue. little pony on yep. top, and then yep. on the bottom a strawberry panna cotta. Yes, the, the panna cotta. Yes. So they they decorate it with a nice little pony on top, which was really cool. I really enjoyed that, and uh, every. Everything was just perfect. So guys, if you're uh, in the Niman uh, area, come and say hi to Stefano here. Tell him that Jason sent you and uh, he'll take care of you here. Of but this course, is... you, you can get the discount. You can get a discount. There you go, guys. Oh man, look at that. See, that's the benefit of watching Jason on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, tell me a little about uh, a little bit about having a, a restaurant in Chiang Mai. I know obviously it's been very tough with COVID the last few years, but being a foreigner here and in having a business, a restaurant in Thailand, how has that experience been for you? We, we started in uh, 2019, September 21st, I still remember, in 2019, after four months COVID just destroyed our, of course, yeah. our actually yeah. beginning of the dream. Yeah. And uh, But I'm an Italian, so I'm like a cucaracha, <laughs> and I never die. That's right. And, that's uh, right. and I keep going, I strive with me and my wife, we tackle first the Chinese community living here, yes. which is huge. Absolutely. And we start to do delivery, we start to do birthday cake, and then we continue to uh, tackle the foreigner uh, yes. expat community, Absolutely. which was still here mm -hmm. in 2019 and early 2020, and then everybody left. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we start to do also B2B, because our speciality was actually for restaurants and hotels. Right. So we produce for other uh, other restaurants, our coffee shop and, and hotels. We mm -hmm. serve Le Meridian in Chiang Mai, Intercontinental in Pattaya, wow. Sala Ratana Cosi in Bangkok, Cholos in Bangkok, Holiday Inn Express in Bangkok. Oh, uh, we, s we are also in Phuket in um, a local hotel. Uh, mm -hmm. which is just newly open, uh, reopened actually, mm -hmm. and many many more. Uh, we have planned to open uh, another gelato shop in Bangkok called Dalena. Please stay tuned. Which I've got the business card here for, there you go guys, Dalena in Bangkok. Perfect. Search it. Yes, absolutely. And uh, we are going to open the second location here in Chiang Mai in Top Screen, which is a uh, uh, like a chic <laughs> gluten free, uh, oh, agree, no that's a good idea. And, uh, yes. vegan and etc. Et <laughs> yes, of yes. the supermarket by uh, Central uh, yep. Group. Okay, and, well. uh, we can open in January. Mm -hmm. And maybe the third one in, uh, in Chiang Mai on uh, coming uh, New Year. Mm -hmm. uh, a friend of us wants to uh, join us in our franchise. So we're going to open probably the third one here wow. in Chiang Mai. What we do is Italian gelato. Yes. We are not uh, playing around, uh, making <laughs> so many fancy uh, <laughs> flavor. I mean, yeah. we have a Christmas special. We have a peppermint candy, pumpkin spice, yes. cassata, zabayon, mochaccino, and all this kind of flavor, which is a uh, cool. Anyway, Italian. Yeah. But we stick with the Italian recipe. 
Yeah, so the gelato is smooth, uh, is rich, cream, milk. And by the way, we won uh, the best plant based ice cream really? in north of Thailand. Yes, wow. in 2021. Congratulations. We were the recipient of the award for wow. north of Thailand, and we wow. were very proud uh, because amazing. our vegan gelato has basically the same structure as a, a dairy gelato. So right. you don't notice the difference right. the smoothness, the silkiness, the round flavor. Mm -hmm. There is no crystallization, so it's right. really, very really delicious. So it tastes basically like the normal, normal it's a gelato. sorbet yeah. it's a sorbet yeah. it's called sorbet mm -hmm. but with the texture of a gelato because we really take care about the ingredient yeah we buy everything from italy mm -hmm. uh, we are very proud about this one except the fruit which is in <laughs> Chiang Mai is the best one. Oh yeah you can can't go wrong with the fruit here it's it always is. fresh on season we are really enjoying playing with the papaya mango lemon and lime yes. uh, Etc. Etc. Now strawberry is coming. The season of strawberry is right. very strange, but in Thailand is now. <laughs> yes, yes. So we are going to use uh, tons of strawberries. Oh, that's beautiful. That sounds delicious, guys. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I, I've noticed here. Yeah, I've been here. This is my second time here, but I've noticed you. You've got a large foreigner uh, sort of customer base, but I've yes. also noticed you've got a lot of Thai people yes. coming here as well, which is very interesting. So a lot of the Thai people also love to come here, a lot of the locals, which is really good, guys. So again, if you're in Chiang Mai, come on down and try this gelato. It's absolutely amazing. Come and see Stefano. But um, this is just an amazing place and uh, it's in, located on uh, Soy 11 in Niman. So it's in a great location and uh, you're surrounded by lots of other great cafes. But what, what do you think about uh, the tourism now? Do you think it's going to start picking up maybe towards is, the new year? It is already, it is already yep. picking up. Yep. Uh, we can feel uh, a little bit more traffic. Uh, right. right. <coughs> there are days which is uh, basically not so busy. Yes. But for example, today was a good day. Uh, I saw, during I saw. the weekend is really a, an exceptional right. uh, passage of uh, demographic of people. Right. Uh, uh, foreigner, Thai, uh, Chinese, uh, mm. so it's really interesting to see finally after two and a half years of uh, suffering that yes. we are also the shop is working not only the restaurant. Right, yes. Well, yeah. let's hope guys that uh, this is the time for everything will start to get better and we'll go back to somewhat normal. That's what we can only hope. Kind right? of. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Slowly, slowly, right? Kind of. Yes. <laughs> but thank you so much, Stefano. Grazie. Thank, thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Merry Christmas to everybody. Yes, Merry Christmas to everybody. Buon Natale. <laughs> Buon Natale. But uh, guys, again, come on down to Seven Senses Gelato. Uh, they're here in Chiang Mai in Niman, and uh, you'll absolutely love it here, guys. Thank you so much.